Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and this is another segment of our uh, web development series. This is the CSS series where it stands for Cascading Style Sheets. That's nothing but you would have observed our HTML series was a little bit like without any styles, right? Though we use some CSS in it, um, it is not the complete potential of what CSS could do. So this is a series where we're going to explore all of the things which you could do with CSS. So first of all, let me thank you for your support for the HTML series. So with that being said, let's just move on with the plan of the attack for our CSS series. So first, we're going to cover up with CSS syntax. Then we'll be moving on with colors, backgrounds, borders, margins, padding, where we'll be discussing about how you could change the background images and what are the things you could do with the background images. Then we'll be talking about the borders, margins and padding. We would have already seen about them in the HTML series, but we will be going into depth with them. Then we'll look about the CSS text and fonts. Then we'll move on to CSS links, like how you could style them and what are the different things cool things which you could do with them. Then we'll move on with styling the lists, styling the tables and the display option. Then we'll move on with CSS position. The CSS position is one of the important things where you'll be dealing with a few objects and with their relative positions. And then we'll move on with CSS overflow. That is, we came across overflow in our navigation bar in the HTML series. So you'll be understanding what overflow and what it does. Then we'll, talk, we'll be talking about the CSS float, then CSS align and CSS opacity. And again, the navigation bar, this time it's going to be neat and the exact instructions of what you need to follow to create an awesome navigation bar. Then we'll be dealing with CSS dropdown menus. And then we'll be moving on with creating our own super cool website using HTML and CSS along with styling the CSS forms because forms are going to be used everywhere so I'm going to teach you how you could design your form in a cool way. Again remember you need not memorize all of these syntax because it's like it's not a good thing that you need to do in the beginning stages. You just keep practicing with them, you just keep doing projects with them, it'll just come along with you. So I can't wait to see you in the next, that is the first tutorial, see you then.